Attention, snowflakes. Who the best? Who the best out here? I don't give a fuck and I don't fucking care. Fan hair, don't care. <sighs> so John and I had lunch at Silly Owls in Q. It was really good. Um, I had the bruschetta, and uh, he had the Hawaiian. Pineapple doesn't go on pizza, okay? Can I get an amen? <laughs> Yeah, and then we did a, a four-mile bike ride, so I hope I burned it off, but, meh. What you doing? <laughs> Are you comfortable? Hey, cutie. <laughs> I love you. there. So my friend John and I left Quartzsite yesterday, which was the two-year anniversary of Dresden's passing. Plus, it was a high of 91. So I was like, all right, let's get out of here. tired of the desert yet? I kind of am. I would much rather be near an ocean, but what are you going to do? So, oh, John and I are here in Gage, New Mexico. I've never been to this particular BLM spot. It's kind of interesting if you're into history. But anyone that knows me knows I'm not a history buff. Boring. But John says that this place predates 1890s. So we found some artifacts that um, verify that. There's a bunch of tins that are rusted and thick glass and square nails. Oh, it's um 80 something. So it's not too bad. Got a nice breeze going. So I shouldn't complain. This is like my least favorite hat ever. When I ordered it, I didn't realize it was like a fucking trucker's hat. So it's like way too big for my head. It's it's for men, but whatever. It's um, Clark Little from Hawaii. <sighs> anyway, um, I just wanted to check in with you guys because I know it's been a hot minute as usual. Wish I had a dollar every time I said that. But you know, let me sit down, collect my thoughts for a minute. Um, so we, uh, this wind. Woo. John and I were in Quartzsite for three months, which is the longest I've ever been in Quartzsite. That's a long time, but it was fine, but it was just getting too hot. So we left and, you know, left for higher elevation. And now we're here at almost 5,000 feet elevation. So, ah, um, Oh, but what was funny is about that. So I'm t I'm telling John, like, we have to go to one of my favorite uh, BLM spots in Arizona <sighs> near Mount Graham. And we get there, and there's freaking no one there, which is awesome. And then we look at the forecast, which had changed before I left. And they were calling for, like, 93 for, like, four days straight. So it was miserable and I probably sweated off a couple of pounds. So that's nice, but 
Owie! Something bit at me. Fuck you. So when we first got here, we went exploring in these old mine shaft ruins. Here are my favorite trinkets that I found. Isn't this cool? Hey, did I show you guys my new hiking shoes? They're pretty cool, I like them. I mean, it's not my favorite color, but whatever. I got them on sale, but they were hella expensive. So they better freaking last. I hung out with um, C-Dub and uh, RV, Frugal RV Gal and um, she had a pair of these. So I was like, oh cool. They're waterproof, which I haven't really experienced any water yet, but uh. Oh, and I haven't seen any rattlesnakes, knock on wood. I haven't seen any things that bite. So I don't know what the hell just bit me, maybe an ant. Anyway, John went, um, yesterday he went exploring. There's a cave over here. And I was like, nope, have fun. Homie don't do caves, okay? Okay. <laughs> he goes in there and he's like, oh shit, there's bees in here. <laughs> Reason 452 of why Angela doesn't go inside caves. But uh, yeah. Gage, New Mexico. We're gonna. Oh, tomorrow's my birthday! <laughs> Dirk! Like, I don't really celebrate my birthdays after 40 because it's all downhill from here, right? But I'm turning 43 tomorrow. And yeah, I don't celebrate my birthday, but. <laughs> no. Uh, what we're gonna do is. Um, I, well, I'm going to have some gin and tonics, even though I forgot lime. <laughs> so I'm going to have gin and tonics and he's going to have some rum and coke, possibly. And for dinner, I don't know what we're going to do. I don't really want to go anywhere because it's New Mexico and they're all fucking Gestapos here. So Um, I kind of want to just hang around here because it's so fucking quiet and peaceful and beautiful. But yeah, everything's fine. Everything's going well. Louis's doing great. Um, he's still afraid of John. Um, but, you know, he'll let him pet him every once in a while, so that's good. Uh, he's making a little bit of progress, but um, he's still, you know, apprehensive about being on the road and new sights and sounds everywhere but you know he'll get there he's a good boy though he really is I, I really looked out so I'm happy um what else I think that's it um I'm gonna be headed back to Texas in May I have a pet sit so that's what I'm doing so there's us there's this weird rock quarry This is the mining mountain, or what have you. Yay, I found flowers! that's a felony just so you know I'm not really afraid of heights but man there's a lot of holes that go down <laughs> a long way and John and I were throwing rocks down there and he would get so close I'm like no 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 it's scary Ooh. 
Look, I'm not fearful. I'm just cautious, okay? There's a difference. Y'all want me to go in there, don't you? Oh, it's a snake. Just kidding. Oh man, look at all these cool rocks. Ooh, you know what this looks like? Looks like Druzy. Are you focusing? That's cool. If I was a jewelry maker, I'd totally get some of this stuff. Oh, it's gated off. Darn, I can't go in there. <laughs> well, shucks. There's the moo moos. There's some more moo moos. It's always fun waking up in the middle of the night to cows squealing. I wonder if Louie's awake. He's gonna be flipping out. <laughs> They're headed to the watering hole. Yep, it's five o'clock somewhere, huh guys? Speaking of five o'clock somewhere, it's happy hour. Time to go back home and open a bottle of Sauvignon Blanc. I swear to God, every time I hit record, they stop mooing. Not that you don't know what a cow moo sounds like, but I could detach the audio and add it in later when they were walking by, if they would cooperate. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I honestly haven't had a, a Miller Lite in forever. I don't want to tell you what I was drinking in Quartzsite. It's me and John's little secret. <laughs> but if you've ever been to Quartzsite, you probably know what it is. I'm going to see if I can get this purple glass down here. I don't break my ankle in the process. This is great content, huh? Okay, let's see what we got here. Design and patented. So what do you think was in here? Medicine? Hmm. There's all sorts of cool stuff like this all around here. John, check it out. I found one. It's a Schlitz beer can. I was trying to tell him that my grandfather used to drink Schlitz and he had the the pull tab, but I couldn't really I couldn't remember what it was called. But here you go. There it is. Shitty beer. He would sprinkle salt on the rim of the beer can. Gross. Okay, that's how you know your beer is shitty. If you have to add salt to it, okay? All the rusted tin. It's everywhere here. So I just picture a bunch of Cowboys sitting around the campfire, smoking cigarettes, eating beans, farting. Like in that scene from Blazing Saddles, my favorite comedy ever. <laughs> oh, cool, this glass has wire in it. Huh. Oh, look, this is back when things were made here. Sauvignon block. Get it? Get it? Cell block? <laughs> you 
You want to smell? Did she wait? What is that? It's gasoline. You're not going to drink that, are you? Mm, that's good. Shout out to everyone in the comment section that tells me I don't look my age. <laughs> Cheers.